What is up, guys? I'm Mary 13 here. We're back with more of the DDLC Pierce mod. Um, so, you guys may see that, like, the recent episode of this mod was the ending to Natsuki, and I did have a whole recording session where I started Yuri's ending, and, well, the video got all fucked up, so I couldn't really upload it. So, I'm just gonna update everybody on what happened throughout the mod, at least the important stuff. As I have it listed on my phone after reviewing the footages. Footage. <laughs> so we're going to start off that we did start start dating Yuri after the festival. It was literally right after the festival. We, um, <clears throat> after the performance, everybody in the literature club told us to go and look around the festival with Yuri. And we did. We came back and then they left. Pretty much started dating afterwards. <clears throat> I think it was the day after this. Uh, a student in his senior year tells us not to date Yuri. He comes up to he comes up to, or he didn't come up to us. He actually threw a paper at us, told us that we should meet him after class. And he just wanted to tell us that there had been incidents with Yuri dating people or something. That's what he said. So he's saying that we shouldn't date her. We had a choice to either keep away from her or tell him that he was a coward. We had to tell him that he was a coward to continue into the story. <clears throat> um, I think it was like a couple days after this. The senior sent out an email to everyone in the school saying rude things about Yuri and the character. the Your character. He... Uh, I guess it was a chain email, actually. So, he sent out an email to everybody in the school saying all this stuff of, like, how, like, oh, they probably like to cut each other or something to please each other or whatever. It was, it, it was kind of disgusting thing. So, maybe I should get into detail with that. <clears throat> so, we did want to find out who sent the email. As we did, it was him. So after finding out that he did send the email, our character punches the senior and gets suspended for two days. <clears throat> and as soon found out, uh, it just skipped two days. So apparently in the middle of those two days, we broke up with Yuri? Or Yuri broke up with us? Apparently we had a breakup, which was kind of weird. I don't know how that happened. They never really explained. <clears throat> um, so after that, we don't hear from Yuri for days. Not even that she shows up to school. Not even the literature club. There has been no sign of Yuri whatsoever. After, after we came back to school after the suspension. <clears throat> now, I think this one was about maybe a day or two days later in this story. We finally get a text from Yuri while we're at home asking if she could come over and we let her. And that's where we and we left off as she showed up to to our house. So, yeah, she showed up to our house and that's where we left off. Uh, and again, I am really sorry that I that the footage was all fucked up and I had to explain it. Uh, if you wanted to see how it exactly happened, maybe look up a YouTube video of someone else playing the playing the mod. So that's pretty much it there. <clears throat> so let's get back to where we left off. Also, I am still a little bit sick, by the way, or like my throat is a little fucked up. I still got my water here. I'm still gonna try and do voices, though. I may cough a bit here and there. So, I have to get some footage, though. Standing before me is Yuri. It's really her, unharmed. Oh. Right off the bat, we fall into a mutual embrace. Second feelings. Second feeling like ours. Okay, 
We reluctantly separate, knowing someone has to speak first. Oh, another thing I want to point out was uh, during the during the uh, time where he sent the email, we were with Yuri, and then he was going to send her the email, like, I guess her own email, and we took her phone and deleted it, so she doesn't even know that that email got around. So that's another thing. <clears throat> Who has to speak first? All right, my mind is racing a mile a minute. Trying to find some cohesive words. After the longest two days of my life, there's so much I want to say. Yeah, it was two days. I. I. We both stop and find ourselves smiling a little after trying to start off at the same time. After a pause, I, I nod to Yuri as a gesture for her to speak first. Fuck me. Thank you. Thank you for having me over after everything I put you through. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I might sound a little different trying to do Yuri's voice. No, don't worry about it. It's fine. You're you're okay, right? Yuri gives a quick, reassuring nod. Yes, I am. I am sorry for taking so long to get back to you. Again, it's fine. I'm just I'm just glad to see you again. Yuri blushes and fidgets with her hair. <clears throat> I'm glad. Um, would you, would you like to go out together tomorrow? Are we about to go out together again? We're about to start dating? This story is hurting my head. This is apparently in our guy's head. He said he said something about how they broke up. Now all of a sudden we're just about to just get right back together afterwards. After the, I don't know. Uh, uh, stop stammering, damn it! You fucking idiot! Stop! 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 Yes, of course. Um, where? Oh no! Please don't. Uh, it, throughout this, when I was recording the video, they had the longest and boring date, like, ever, in a damn bookstore. I'm kind of glad that footage didn't go out. <laughs> Yuri tugs her, tugs at her sleeve. It's, um, it might be kind of weird to you. I'm sure it's a great place. The graveyard in the park. This time tomorrow. Is that alright with you? Why? <coughs> Just, why the graveyard? The graveyard, huh? That sounds great. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I can't think of a more fitting place. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure I could name a bunch of different fitting places. <laughs> Yuri Beam's easily, easily the most welcome sight I've seen as of late. Thank you. I promise. I promise I'll tell you everything, all right? Uh. I not in agreement. It seems we both have. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> we both have a great deal we want to share. See you tomorrow. With one last embrace, Yuri turns to leave. She leaves me with one last assurance. I'm doing better now, you Mikey. Thank you for all your patience. It's the least I owe you, Yuri. You're the only. You're the one who deserves thanks for putting up with me. Yuri leaves me with her enchanting smile as she departs. I can feel a burden lifting from my shoulders. I guess I'll get my chance after all. No matter how tomorrow goes, as long as I can tell her what she's done for me. I think things will turn out alright. In a fucking graveyard. How stupid. I 
I arrive at the park and take a moment to reassure myself. This was all happening. It's a beautiful day outside. The park is tranquil. And nestled somewhere in the trees before me is Yuri, waiting for me in a small, secluded graveyard. I vaguely remember noticing the graveyard here on previous visits, but I had never imagined it would hold such significant significance. Wait, what? Well, I better not keep her waiting. A cooling breeze rustles the trees around me as I make my way to the graveyard, taking care not to disturb any of the graves. My mind is swirling with the prospects of the meeting before me. It will be the first time Yuri and I have gotten to talk properly since we separated days ago. So it was only a separation. It wasn't even like a breakup. Is that what I'm getting at here now? Because you said breakup. There is so much I want to tell her. So much I want to apologize for. So many things I want to fix. I sure hope. I just hope I can do better for both myself and for Yuri. I try and push the... Tempestus? What? I don't know. Thoughts back and focus on what's ahead. Before too long, I come upon Yuri. Right where we had pointed to me. I just... Let me just point out to you again that I am not the best reader here, okay? So, you see me struggling with words or something that I probably never even heard of. Go ahead and judge me in the comments. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Her tall figure is practically <clears throat> ethereal. What? With the scenery and soothing winds. She looks at peace like she could <clears throat> content contentedly fade into the landscape and stay here forever. Yuri lights up as she notices my approach. She addresses me as I stand with her among the headstones. I hope this this place is acceptable to you. I doubt many people enjoy spending time in a graveyard. Y you're damn right! It seems a little fishy to meet up in like a graveyard. <clears throat> her trademark modesty helps set my mind at ease. It's a lovely spot. I don't mind at all. Graveyards are creepy, dude. You can't just sit in a goddamn graveyard. I don't even know if it's supposed to be a date. Like, Yuri doesn't... I think Yuri wants to make it seem like it's a date. I feel like. Yes, I come here when I need a quiet spot. It is very pleasant for reading or thinking. Just by standing here and taking it in the surroundings, I am inclined to agree. I can imagine. Peaceful, secluded, even calming in a way. Perfect for con contemplation. And the dead are the only company that cannot judge you. Bruh. Anyway. <laughs> I'm struck by her... Poignant? <clears throat> what the hell? Poignant words. <clears throat> Shit. <clears throat> she is right, after all. It makes me wonder just how much she's had to put up with to come up with that. Do you think it's weird at all, then? To meet up together at a graveyard? Yes! <laughs> just say it, yes! If I had been asked that question before meeting Yuri, I would probably have said yes. But you're not going to, aren't you? Now, however, it just feels right to be here. I don't think I could uh, come up with come up with a more fitting place for a wallflower, Yuri. Not at all. I think this is a great place, and thank you for sharing this and inviting me here. It clearly means a lot to you. Yuri peeves at my affirmation. I'm glad. I haven't shared this place with many people. It means a lot to me, as well, that you think so highly of it. <clears throat> Jesus.
Yuri pauses for a moment, looking contemplative. <laughs> she takes a deep breath. Her eyes meet mine with a renewed vigor. Mikey, thank you for coming here despite my lack of communication. Having you here today, after everything that's happened, it reassures me. I smile warmly in hopes of bolstering her confidence. <clears throat> of course, how could I say no? And a pang of guilt flares again as I have trouble meeting Yuri's gaze. Don't say it like it's all your fault. If anything, I should be apologizing for poor communication. I should have. Mikey! The sudden outburst startles me. Oh, so I should go, Mikey! <laughs> That's probably the loudest I could make her, okay? I'm trying to make her, like, low and soft, okay? I am unable to finish my statement out of shock before Yuri follows up on her interjection. Please, I... Her expression softens in apology. Don't be too hard on yourself. Since we met, you provided me with such... With so much support, and I... I feel like I... I never properly reciprocated my... <laughs> that support. <laughs> you stood up for me like no one ever had before. Normally, I just duck my head at all... <clears throat> at all the teasing and rumors. But you tried to put a stop to them for my sake. I thought I could handle it all for a long time. I typically prefer the company of books to people. The pages that took me away to faraway lands of gripped or gripped me in thrilling stories. Yuri's voice begins to shake. The pages that the pages that don't call is you a freak for having a net collection as a girl. The pages that don't shun you for reading during all your free time. Yuri. When we started dating, it was a whole new experience for me. I had never been so close to someone before. I really enjoyed it, but I could not figure out how to express it. I'm horny. I'm sorry, Mikey. You, you deserve better. <clears throat> someone who doesn't stumble <clears throat> over their words so much. Someone who won't get you caught up in bullying. Someone who could handle inti intimacy better. <laughs> the sight of Yuri deflating pains, uh, pains my heart. If only, if only she could see how much she's worth. I decisively grasp Yuri's hand with both of mine. She looks up at me, surprised. I find new resolve. Yuri, please don't apologize. Not once have I ever regretted spending time with you. <laughs> that fucking bookstore date was regretful. <laughs> Don't worry about the intimacy or reciprocity. Reci what? <laughs> or anything like that. It's all new to me, too. <laughs> that's that's the kind of <clears throat> thing we could figure we figure out together at our own pace. Whatever bumps and hiccups there are along the way. Just being with you makes it rewarding. And there are things that I could certainly have done better as well. I'm sorry for trying to keep secrets from you. I thought that it would be best for you to never see nasty things like the chain email. Oh, did she eventually see it? I mean, when you delete an email, isn't there like a trash section you could go to? She probably went into the trash section or something. She was like, what's this? I don't remember deleting this. But I see now that I was wrong, and that you're much stronger than I am. But, but I... <clears throat> I need a drink of a lot of water. <clears throat> Yuri takes on a somber expression. I should, I should show you something. Oh, jeez. Before I can respond, Yuri begins rolling up her left sleeve. Oh, no! Oh, no. We all know what this is. On her forearm lay a small... 
assortment of short white scars. Yep. Realization sets in. I feel a pit in my stomach form as I try to formulate coherent words. <clears throat> Are these... Yuri nods, her expression remaining pensive. They started as an escape. When I was younger, I thought that if I could distract myself, the feelings of isolation would go away. The pain was an outlet. The idea of a, of a desperation intense enough to drive Yuri to self-harm sent chills down my spine. Shush! But it did not end there. It became more than a distraction. I have difficulty getting close to others. It was no different back then, either. I would often find myself over-eager in sharing my interests when attempting to make friends. I do not blame others for being weirded out. Few shared an interest in my favorite, in my favorite books. I don't know if I ever even got to mention my knives, but I'm sure, I'm sure that would have creeped them out more. My distraction turned into a sort of punishment. A ch chastisement. Alright. I never... A lot of these words in this story so far, I have never heard of in my life. A lot of them. For my failures. I was sabotaging my own chances at friendships. I got overexcited. I shared too much too quickly. So I hurt myself more and more. You what? My comforts. Jesus, Yuri. Ex excitement only brought me trouble. I was sure to ruin the situation at hand whenever I got overwhelmed. My heart sinks as I realize there is still more to the story. Yeah. Yuri casts her eyes aside. I wanted to stop there. I really did, but... Something was nagging at me at all the at all eh, at all those times. It was small at first. A siren song whispering to me that I needed more. That the blades should never leave my arm. Ah This is getting uncomfortable. I realized Yuri paused to gather herself. I realized that I caught a certain high from cutting. I don't know how, how, but it took hold of me. Ugh. Seeing my blood flow and feeling the cool steel go up into my skin, all while remembering my own failures. Oh my God, Yuri, stop! Stop! Just stop! Jesus! I inwardly wince at the imagery, but I can't falter for Yuri. Not now. <clears throat> now, whenever I find myself drawing particularly close to someone, or I'm reminded of how much I'm awkwardly fumbled, the urge grows. I hate it, and yet I depend on it. I feel powerless against it. I recall her raccoon poem, and how when we worked on the festival decorations, she had her sleeve rolled back. The grim pieces all start to fall into place. I, I don't want to live like this, but I can't tear myself away. Even now, I, Yuri's voice strains. I'm just a freak, ending up like this. My words fail me as I stand stunned by Yuri's reveals. To think she had a past and present like this. When some people see scars like these, they use them as another reason to belittle others, so I wear long sleeves all the time. She takes a deep breath. <clears throat> I haven't told anyone else about these scars. If, if you want to leave, I understand. They're unsightly, after all. Silence hangs in the air. I'm desperately trying to think of what to say to offer anything to Yuri. Here she is, revealing her past to me, and now she is when, and now is when I draw a blank. Not now, please, any time but now. Find the right words. Nothing. 
What? What is wrong with me? Yuri forces a weak smile. Well, thank you for listening, Mikey. I, I'm sorry to have gotten you caught up in so many ugly things. I'll take my leave now. She turns and starts to walk away. Is this how it ends? She just walks away? No, I can't let it. Yuri, wait! I call out without knowing exactly what I'm going to say, but I'll figure something out. Sayori already opened up about her problems with me. Then I failed as a, then I failed as a friend. I can't, uh, I can't offered to fail another person <clears throat> dear to me. I'll finally work on setting things right with my words this time. Yuri turns back in surprise. Yuri, nothing you've told me makes me want to turn away. Believe me. I I admire you a lot, Yuri. I should have told you earlier. I try and imagine myself in your position, and I don't know if I can, if I can do what you do. Your confessions about your tendencies. I gulp as I gather the words appropriate for the gravity of the subject. I can't imagine that's easy to confess, and thank you for the trust you put in me. It means a lot to me. Beyond that, just seeing the way you do things, it it just makes me like you that much more. In the face of harassment for your hobbies of your mannerisms, or your mannerisms, not of your mannerisms, you haven't given up. You have kept your passions despite all that. You could have tried acting different or finding new interests, but you didn't. Do you remember the festival? I remember standing around like some kind of moron. It was you that asked me to hold your hand. You had the courage to approach me like that. Oh yeah, she wanted to... Before we left to look at everything in the festival, she wanted a, she wanted us to hold her hand because she would get lost in the crowd. But I think that was just an excuse. That all is a, that all is why I find encouragement from you. You have bravery that I don't. Yuri's voice begins to quiver. You, do you really mean all that? Even with. She trails off. I draw a bit closer. I do. I love reading with you. I love sharing poetry with you. I love spending time with you. It makes me really happy seeing you enjoy yourself, you know? The only thing that I didn't love was that fucking date. <laughs> and hey, who cares what others think that you have a knife collection? I think it's really cool that you have one. But, but why? Why? Why do you... How do you enjoy my company so much? I feel my heart be quickened. I know how I feel now. Well, that's because I love you, Yuri. <laughs> She's such a freak and she loves it. He loves it. Whatever. I'm sorry, I probably should have said that because I think the whole thing was that people are always calling her a freak. So that's kind of mean of me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Tears begin to cloud Yuri's eyes. But, but I... I offer an embrace to Yuri. She accepts. Oh, look at this animation! Or not animation. This, uh, CGI. Oh, she's actually crying. Aw. It sounds like the tears are in full force. Hearing her cry like this, I'm having a hard time keeping my own composure, but I have to try. Aren't I just a freak? I literally forgot who. I want to die. <laughs> I I don't know if I deserve love like this. Yuri, that's nonsense. I I'm an obsessive freak who harms herself because she has no other way to deal with her problems. I'm too weak to stop despite how badly I keep trying to. Jesus, Yuri! Not only that, but I don't know how to express myself to people without weirding them out. I... I broke up with you even though you were so nice to me. I didn't talk to you or anyone for days. How? 
Oh, so she, so she did break up with us. <clears throat> How can you still love me after everything? Silence. <laughs> Hearing Yuri like this things. The words from Natsuki and Sayori come back to me. Now more than ever, I want to say the right thing. I don't quite know how I managed to articulate everything in this situation. But, Yuri, I just told you how, didn't I? We all have our highs, and we all have our lows. The low points can feel awful, but they don't define us. They're just points. We work on making it past them. I realized that when you broke up with me, it was because you didn't want me getting hurt by association with you. Uh, nice! <laughs> but, you, <laughs> but you don't have to do that, alright? Just, just being with you, it makes the words of any harasser meaningless. Please, it's okay to think of yourself at times. I know you can keep yourself going, but you don't have to bear it all yourself. I don't want to force support on you or anything, but I should have said this earlier, and I apologize. You've been there for me, and now it's my turn to be here f for you. If you're feeling down or troubled, I'm here if you want someone to talk to, someone to lean on, someone to lean on. Just whenever you feel like you need it, I'm here. That's nice. Mikey. Yuri hugs me tighter, words come through the sobs. Even though I... I harm myself, and... I just... I don't want to hurt myself anymore, or cause worry for others. Hearing Yuri like this makes me... Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> I was hearing Yuri as I'm saying Yuri's voice. What the fuck am I doing? Hearing Yuri like this makes me hard to hold back my own tears. Yeah, even then, and you know, that's why we have we have others, people we can rely on, right? I have my own problems too. I've lashed out at people, and I think it wouldn't hurt getting more direct more direction in my life either. Yeah, we lashed out at that fucking senior. We punched him in the face and got suspended. <laughs> but we don't have to tackle everything today. We can help each other gradually. We can work together on these things, right? And beyond that, I'm sure there are others who would listen to us should we need it. We could go one day at a time. Yuri, if, you're still have, if you still have me... I won't give up on you. If you need anyone, I want to be the support that I failed to offer before, because you've already helped me. I want to be there for you. Ah, a breeze blows. We stand there together, the silent moment only punctuated by the occasional sob. Thank you, Mikey. Thank you. I feel a wetness on my cheek, on my cheeks. At first, <clears throat> at first I think it's from Yuri's tears, but no. Oh, it's his, he's crying. Oh, jeez. It's my own tears. I feel rolling down my face. God damn, it's gonna get really emotional. I'm gonna cry myself. Here we are, two high schoolers crying over our emotions in a graveyard, trying to figure things out. I bring an arm to my face in an attempt to wipe away my own tears when I am surprised by an interruption. It's all right to cry, Mikey. This is a moment that words such, is it not? <clears throat> I smile at her logic and quietly agree between sobs. Thus, we stand together for a moment longer. Eventually, we regain our composure and break from, a, from the hug. For a moment, we just look at each other, mutually unsure of what to say next. <clears throat> One day at a time. I like the sound of that. Yuri rings her wrist, seemingly unconsciously. If we could be together again, like the way things were, 
that would make me really happy. And I promise I'll communicate with you more should something arise. <clears throat> and I'll stick to more proper applications of my knives. Just, I don't think I'm ready to tell the rest of the club about it. You don't have to if you don't want to. If I roll around the idea in my head a bit to ensure it sounds right. If needed, we can speak. We can seek a professional. Is that all right? Yuri ponders for seconds before nodding in agreement. Yes, that's all right. I'll work on controlling myself better as well and being a better listener. <clears throat> Yuri nods and smiles encouraging, encouragingly. So pick up where we left off then. Yes, that sounds wonderful. We stand once more, even though we both agreed to both agreed to it. It seems we weren't sure exactly how to pick things up back up. We take a step closer tentatively. Oh god. And then another step. We're close. I can feel her breath on me. Here comes a makeout session. <clears throat> My heartbeat accelerates once again. We both lean in slightly closer, closer, and kiss and fuck! <laughs> Close my eyes in anticipation. <laughs> Our lips gingerly meet. It was only for a second, but it was like time had stopped for that one second. We had kissed. I leaned back, opened my eyes, and I realized we're both grinning like idiots. Maybe things would be alright after all. Hey, Yuri? Hmm? Thanks for inviting me out here. <clears throat> Yuri returns to her familiar, reserved demeanor. Of course. It was my pleasure. Yet again, we stand. We stand. No words appropriate for the occasion. It really is a beautiful day today. After a moment, Yuri offers me her hand, I oblige, <clears throat> with much more confidence than I had the last time this situation arose. Shall we be off then? Sure thing. We begin walking together out of the graveyard. Oh, um, Mikey? I pause for Yuri's inquiry. What is it? I, I appreciate how you stood up for me at school and all, but... I just do not wish for another confrontation like that. Should that boy taunt us again, I would prefer a non non-violent response is all. I think it would be better for us overall. The thought alone of us of just seeing that smug mouth breather again irks me, but Yuri's right. Yeah, sure thing. If Yuri has things she's going to work on, then I should too. We match smiles at the reassurance and continue on our way out of the park. I'm sure we have a lot to figure out ahead of us. The first of which properly, oh, which properly, probably, what the hell did I say properly for? Which probably be getting the literature club back on track. But we could address that later. For now, we're content to just enjoy the moment. A short instance to catch our breath after all the turbulence. I'm optimistic. Now I think things really can work out after all. 